Hello everyone, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and I have recently created a triptych and today I would like to share with you one of the painting tutorials. I will be using only black, grey and white color. This is acrylic paint from Lucas Creel Studio. So, and this is the mixture of white and black which I just put in that bottle. I will be painting on square canvas. This canvas has got white edges like this. It's size 50 by 50 centimeters. It is already primed so there is no need to put gesso on the top of my canvas. So I'm going to start with the masking tape because I would like to divide this square into two sections. One will be bigger, one will be smaller, like this. And I'm doing this because it will be inspired by amazing painter Mark Rothko who divided his paintings into sections like this. So let's start by putting some shades of grey, white and black on the top part. I'm just squeezing the paint straight out of the tube and I'm just gonna spread it with my Renaissance brush. But you could also start with the roller brush. I just decided to do it with the brush first and then to make a nice smooth pattern I decided to use a roller brush. And you could easily just leave the nice grey background, but I wanted to layer shades of grey and light grey on the top of each other because I wanted to have an interesting structure inside my painting. So as you can see, I added some dark on the edges and then also some lighter shades of grey. And I'm using two types of brushes, one which is smaller, one which is bigger. And then I'm simply like smoothing the colors, making the nice transition. Now even darker shades on these edges. Then I decided to add some more white in the middle. So roller brush, here we go again. And then I just created this interesting structure in the middle. It's all about layering the paint on the top of each other. So there will be so much going on when I finish this. I'm using the wet wipe now and I'm simply spreading light and dark shades together. So the top part is done. I love how it ended up and I'm just gonna take this tape off. The bottom part will be much darker than the top part and meanwhile I wanted to tell you a little bit about Mark Rothko. I know loads of you know him but in case you want to hear a little bit more about him, he was an abstract painter. He is best known for his color field paintings that depicted irregular and rectangular regions of color which he produced from 1949 to 1970s. And yeah, this painting is very much an inspiration for my own painting. I absolutely love how he depicted the color and loads of his paintings made people very emotional. And he is associated with the American abstract expressionism movement of modern art. So it's time to create the bottom part. I'm just doing the same technique, layering paints straight from the tube and then I use roller brush to spread the paint everywhere. And I layer loads and loads of layers of dark grey and black on the top of each other. So now some lighter shade of grey. Spreading it with my smaller roller brush. So this is how it looks and because I absolutely love the combination of black and gold, I decided to use some gold paint. It will match my two other paintings 
and I will be using paint straight from the tube. I'm using the gold acrylic paint from Lucas Krill Studio. It's fine artist's acrylic paint. It's quite thick, so it will hold the shape of the lines which I will paint on the top of my top of my painting. So you always have to shake it down, make sure the tube is filled with paint, otherwise it would create these blobs of paint. And you have to have quite a steady hand and just make these lines. I'm gonna mend that with brush. If I make a mistake, I just simply go over it with my brush. And now let's do the whole frame because I want to create a frame which will divide my painting into two sections like this. Make sure you don't stick your fingers in there, otherwise you would ruin your painting. Perfect. So I'm going to let the paint dry for two days. And this is how it looks after two days. It created a beautiful border for my painting. And now I'm going to put another masking tape inside of my canvas like this. And I'm also going to use this kind of masking tape, which already have got this back and I'm going to cover the middle part of my painting with it. Meanwhile, I bought this gold acrylic spray in my local art shop. It has got beautiful golden effect. You just shake it like this and then you can spray it on the top of your painting. So this will add much more shine into my special frame. I'm also doing the borders. And I had to let it dry for a few hours. Make sure you don't put your fingers on the paint while it's still wet. Be patient and let it dry. Last step is putting varnish on the top. I chose this matte varnish. I didn't want to have too much gloss shine because I think the matte finish will suit this painting much better. I'm using this sponge for spreading the varnish all over my painting. And this is the result of my Mark Rothko inspired black and gold painting. It came with this triptych series and I absolutely love how these three ended up. If you'd like to see tutorial of this one and this one, they are both on my patreon.com slash me paintings. And I've also created this pink and gray one. There is so many possibilities. I already have got so many ideas in my head. I love the matte finish and the frame which I created from acrylic paint and gold spray. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or share it with your friends. I wish you loads of success with your art projects and hopefully see you soon. Bye!